My name's Andrew Bensley, I'm 29 years old and I'm from Canberra by way of Queen Bien. I suppose it's just like a, an unquenchable lust for attention that brought me here today. I am very, very scared. I'm shaking like a chihuahua and I have been all day. But I'm hoping I can just sort of walk the nerves off. From Canberra, it's Andrew Bensley. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I hope you're all well. I'm um, feeling good myself, feeling kind of optimistic. We're four months into my 11th gap year and um, <laughs> yeah, so far so good. I was very nervous earlier today. I was having a bit of a freak out. You know, I was talking to my friend about it. And he goes, Andrew, mate, you just need to relax. Why don't you go get yourself a Thai massage, take your mind off things? I thought, yeah, I've never had a Thai massage before and I will never have one again. Holy hell. <laughs> right from the get-go, they had me on the back foot. You know, the first question the lady asked me, she goes, do you want it uh, hard, medium or soft? And she hit on the word soft like she was challenging my manhood. <laughs> I was like, what do I seem like, some sort of pussy to you? I'll take the medium, thank you very much. <laughs> and she, uh, she took me into the, into the room there, laid me on the table, ripped the yellow pages in half with her bare hands and proceeded to kick the living shit out of me for an hour. <laughs> I know what people mean by happy ending now because I've never been happier something ended in my life. <laughs> I uh, visited my grandparents on the weekend, which is always nice. Um, my granddad, he's one of these guys, who, though, he, he loves to give out weird, unsolicited advice about things, you know? I was sitting there having a chat and completely out of the blue, he just goes, Andrew, mate, if you ever find yourself being attacked by a dog, all you have to do is stick your finger up its ass and it'll stop. <laughs> oh, is that all? Is that... I would have given him a reach around too, but if that's all I have to do, then... I was thinking about it and I realised I don't necessarily care how he knows that. I am curious, though, as to why he's narrowed it to just dogs. <laughs> I mean, call me old-fashioned, but a finger in the ass, that's a showstopper in most situations. <laughs> like an annoying co-worker telling you about the dream they had last night. Shut up, Kevin! <laughs> I don't know, man, dogs are strange, though. Like, people always tell me that humans and dolphins are the only two animals that have sex for pleasure and not just for reproduction. Uh, but I had a dog growing up that had sex almost exclusively with buckets. <laughs> Having a pretty hard time believing that was for the purpose of reproduction, you know what I mean? Because he always wore a condom. <laughs> I uh, did some food shopping today, which is kind of a nightmare for me, especially these days, you know, everything's, everything's handcrafted this and home style that. Like I saw a box of home style fish fingers yeah, you guys know that classic staple of wholesome home-style cooking, the fish finger? <laughs> I remember coming home after school, Mum would just be in the kitchen, rendering assorted fish parts into a gelatinous blob. <laughs> well, she'd add a pinch of salt, a dash of butylated hydroxyanosine, and, <laughs> of course, Grandma's secret ingredients. Just a hint of acidity regulator 246. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I work at a cinema for a living, that's what I do. It's really just another way of saying I've made some terrible life choices. <laughs> I have a pretty bad looking resume. You know you have a bad looking resume when you're about to turn 30 and you still have a hobbies and interests section? <laughs> <laughs> I, I did work in an office for a while. It wasn't always the cinema, you know. It wasn't really for me, the office life. I don't know if anyone, anyone here works in an office, but every single office team is convinced that they're just the wildest ragtag bunch of renegades ever to walk the earth, don't they? <laughs> Remember my first day, my supervisor came up to me and she was just like, we are pretty wild around here. <laughs> oh, it's a madhouse here, that's what it is. Oh, we're mad here. The other week, Suze hid my favorite coffee cup. <laughs> oh, it's a fucking circus here. <laughs> I, would have, I would have almost rather than be like, we're mad here. The last new guy that started, we actually killed in a ritualistic sacrifice. <laughs> Offered his soul up to the Dark Lord and consumed his flesh at morning tea. <laughs> Deb's shirt was inside out the whole time. <laughs> I just moved out of home for the first time. I moved to a share house. It's kind of fun, you know, like I'm, I'm having to deal with possums for the first time in my life. It's a very violent creature, the possum. Starting to understand why Prime Possum always went to bed at seven. Yeah, it's because he had to be up at 3am for fucking Possum Fight Club outside my window every night. That's, 
I mean, on more than one occasion, I've had to get out there and just start fingering some buttholes just to calm the whole situation down. Thank you very much, guys.